just how far away are these objects? Let's get plotting in SAS. Welcome to SETI Astro. As always, if you don't have the newest version of SETI Astro Suite, head over to SETIAstro.com under Astro Program, SETI Astro Suite. We're version uh, 2.15.x, be sure to get that there. And if you haven't updated Cosmic Clarity, be sure you grab Cosmic Clarity as well, because I have now included my beta of my Dark Star, which is my star removal program, so be sure to get it uh, there as well. So as a reminder, my what's in my image, you can find it under Quick Navigation or use the tabs. What's in my image is a, a great tool to figure out, um, well, what, what's in your image. Uh, if you have a plate solved fits, it's going to use that information right away. If it doesn't have a valid uh, astrometric solution, it's going to go ahead and uh, walk you through the blind solve and applying the astrometric solution such that you can actually figure stuff out in your images. But I already have one uh, loaded with an astrometric solution, so let me get that pulled up. All right, I have here my image of this big uh, galaxy chain, and then there's some hydrogen gas kind of running through the middle of it. But this is this is a great example here to, to get us kicked off. What I'm going to do to start doing our, our 3D distance modeling is click Advanced Search. I'm going to toggle off everything. And then in this particular case, I'm going to toggle on the galaxies. And uh, because I want them in there as well, I'm going to also check the Quasar checkbox and click search entire image. Now it's going to go ahead and, and find all those objects and if it has a redshift available, it's going to list it down here and have the co-moving radial distance in, in giga light years, right? Billions of light years. And uh, you can still do all the things you could before, double clicking on these, pulling up in the information. But what I'm gonna do now is click 3D distance model and in your web browser, that's going to open up something really spectacular. When you first click it, you're going to get the option to get a smooth grayscale image plane, um, which is by default. It's going to be the, the full image you have in grayscale as, as the base image plane. The way this is rendered, it doesn't allow a full color image, uh, but there is a mesh RGB scatter plane, which you can also select. And if you do that, it's going to ask you the resolution of that color image on the bottom 500 by 500 is is plenty good uh, for the plotting you can go higher you can go lower uh, just depends on how much resolution you want on that base image plane if it's the grayscale image you won't get this scatter resolution up since it does use the base uh, grayscale image at its resolution i'm going to click ok going to and what you're going to see pull up is a just kind of like a, a random number website. That's actually how it's going to, to render this 3D plot for us. So it's going to open your browser, check your browser, and then we can we can play with this uh, plot here. Some quick navigation items. You do have some options up here in the upper right to download your image as a PNG. You could zoom in with that. You could also use your mouse wheel. Uh, if you want to pan the image around, you can click that. If you want to do an orbital uh, rotation where you could rotate around all three axes, you could uh, select that. By default, it's the turntable rotation, which I find the, the easiest to do. There's a home button to reset your camera view if you, if you get all lost. And then uh, there's a reset camera to last save. I don't, I don't have any method of uh, saving those camera rotations. Now let's get into the actual plot here. Uh, I did have the colored version on, so I got a color base image. Now you can click and drag in here and uh, move it around. It has the X, Y coordinates here in uh, declination and right ascension. And then the distance in the Z direction is a log scale. So that's going to be in powers of 10. And I just had the galaxies and quasars listed here. And you can see most of the galaxies are uh, right around this 180 million light year range. Uh, this one's here at 250 million light years. Remember 10 to the 9 is a billion. And the reason it's a log scale, you'll see here in a, in a bit when we look at stars as well, is it's the only way to really fit the whole universe 
on on your on your screen. If this was a linear scale, right, um, things would just be off. The, the universe is huge, uh, but we do have these quasars that are way out here. This is this is 20 billion light years, uh, with a redshift of 2.8 to that particular quasar, and uh, again, you can you can rotate it around, you can zoom in and out. It does have the means. All you got to do is mouse over these points to see the uh, the information about them. But let's go back into SETI Astro Suite and uh, click on the stars as well. So I'm just going to click toggle all so everything's highlighted and click search entire image again. And searching for everything may get may take a second, but it popped up for me pretty quick and now I'm going to just regenerate the uh, the 3d model for us I'll do the grayscale just so you can see the the difference between the two and click OK now it's opening the blank web page for me and load in the graph now here's our uh, 3d plot here you can see the base layer has the grayscale and now when we look at distances there's there's a much bigger spread here on actual distances but really neatly if you go edge on and when you move it edge on you can really see the the differences now between the foreground stars so these are all these uh, closer in stars you know they're going to be a few tens hundreds thousands tens of thousands of light years out and then we have the bulk of the galaxies these galactic objects up here right and these are the ones really far out 100 million light years or so and then the next kind of rung up the cosmic ladder now we have quasars way out here with you know higher redshifts of uh you know 1.3 on this this is uh 13 billion light years out this one is 20 billion light years out so it's really kind of cool to see the hierarchical structure of this little slice of the cosmos, you know, captured in this particular image. So now let's pull up another image. Uh, this one coming up will be of Andromeda. So I have my image of Andromeda here pulled up. I'm going to, I'm just going to search for everything. Search entire image. Now we have just, just thousands of objects here. But importantly, some of them do have uh, red shifts and distances associated with them. So let's click 3D distance model. I'll go ahead and do the, the mesh RGB scatter plane for this one. Click OK. And uh, I'll, I'll leave it at the default resolution. And now here's our Andromeda image. And again, now when we rotate around, you can really see now you know, kind of a, a big central clump of stuff, um, which is the Andromeda galaxy. You see some objects that are much further away, uh, orders of magnitude further away, and those are background uh, galaxies and, and quasars. And then um, kind of a spattering of some objects that are listed as being uh, qu quite a bit closer, foreground stars and, and things of that nature. But it's, it's just really interesting to see now the depth structure of of this stuff that's um you know listed in our images and uh it's just something really cool you could play with now get a feel for what the 3d structure is in your image in your little slice of the universe that um you've been you've been actually imaging and be able to to get a feel for uh how far away some of the stuff is how close some of it is as a reminder, it, it is a log scale in the z-axis, so you know each tick up the rung here is an order of magnitude further away. And once you start getting, you know, nines, that's that's billions of light years out now at that point, and and things are getting really far away really fast. Um, so just just some really cool things you can do now. Um, more more things to show your friends and family or or bore them whatever uh whatever the case may actually be and i hope you guys get a lot of enjoyment out of this please comment like and subscribe